All right, just to review stuff from when you were younger, this longer hand is called the minute hand, and you can notice what's happening as I'm moving the minute hand. What is happening to the minutes on the clock? Pay attention. They're changing, good. So what happens if I move the hour hand? The minutes are changing, but you see how the hours are now changing. So this short hand is called the hour hand, and it tells you what the hour is. And you figure out the hour based on where it's sitting. So if it's sitting at the nine, or after the nine, after the nine, after the nine, after the nine, it's always gonna be nine o'clock from here until here. But then as soon as you point to the 10, 10 o'clock. And any time from here until here, you've got some 10 o'clock, 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 20, always going to start with 10. This is the hour hand. And when you were younger, all you had to know really was this, o'clock and 30. That's it. Now we're learning other parts. One of the things I want to show you, and I think you've probably already noticed, is look, look what's happening as I'm moving the minute hand is the which hand is moving moving things on the clock faster is it the minute hand is changing faster or the hour hand is changing faster yep the minute hand is changing every time I move this and we keep the hour the same for 60 minutes and as soon as you've done 60 moves on the clock then finally the hour hand changes and that hour is going to stay to 11 until we move 60 times 60 minutes again and every time you move the hour hand the minute hand moves very fast because you need to do 60 rotations in order to get a brand new hour you need to do 60 minutes all right so let's try some easy times on the clock and then We'll try some harder ones. Now you cannot see the digital time clock. I took it off of the screen. What time is it? What time is it? It is 8 p.m. Or you could say a.m. You don't know. It doesn't say a.m. or p.m. on here. So let me change it again. What time is it? Uh-oh. There's a number showing. Oh, well. 11.30, look, the hour hand is pointing somewhere between the 11 and 12. It hasn't gotten to the 12 yet, so it's 11. And then the minute hand is pointing to the six. Remember from a while back that to tell time, you're counting by fives. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Or if you're super wonderful at your times tables, you could say six times five, 30. Okay, in fact, we should probably practice your fives. Let's do one more. What time is it? Two o'clock, very good. The hour hand is pointing directly at the two, and then the minute hand is at the 12, and every time it's at the 12, it's o'clock. The 12 kind of stands for 60 minutes. It's always gonna have a zero, zero to show o'clock. So now we've done a couple easy ones. We're going to do harder ones next. All right, what time is it? Pay attention to the minute hand and the hour hand and where they are pointing. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you have to take your pencil or your cursor and do something like this to figure it out. Give up. Two, because the hour hand is pointing in the two o'clock range right here. Two, and now we have to count by fives to figure out what the minutes are. And we only have to count by fives one time. Oh, five. Two, oh, five is the time. Or we could say one times five. That's five. So the time is two. Oh, five. Let me do another one. What time is it? Four. 
because the hour hand is in the four o'clock range. And then what's the minute? 420, 450, what is it? You can count by fives, or you can say three times five. 415, because if you're counting by fives or multiplying by five, that would be 5, 10, 15. 4, 15. And I hope you understand that this is not just invented. If you actually, if you actually stopped and go and went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's actually 15 marks on the clock. They just signify it by saying this is one set of five, two sets of five, three sets of five. You see that? Good. Last one, and then I'm going to ask you very, very hard ones. Dun, da, da, dun. What time is it? First thing you figure out is the hour. It's pointing down here. Use your cursor. It's not to the seven yet. As you progress through the hour, this hour hand's going to push farther and farther and farther and farther until it gets close, 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 but doesn't quite touch, and then it'll be to the seven. So it's to the six o'clock hour, and it's five, ten, fifteen. And if you don't want to do it that way, all you have to do a shortcut is say ten times five. Ten groups of five, ten times five is fifty. So it's six, fifty. All right, back to seeing this little clock here. This is a digital clock. This is an analog clock. Anna, like the name of a girl. Log, like what a frog would sit on. Analog, and this is a digital clock. So what I want you to notice is the little tiny, when I move it one, 701, 702, 703. And as I'm doing that, what is happening to the hour hand? It's slowly moving forward. So we're going to practice real quick, not pointing at any of these fives. This would be 835. This would be 815. That's really easy. We're going to practice what if it was just pointing here. We see the first step is figuring out the hour. It's after the eight, so it's an eight o'clock something. And it's after the, the one. So it's 8.05, no, it's not that. It's not to the two, so it's not 8.10. It's between 8.05 and 8.10. So we can do this and say 8.05 and then count up. Six, seven, eight, eight, oh, eight. Let's do another one. This one, okay? So it's after the 11, so we know it's 11 something. And then we have to go five. It's not 11.05. It's not 11.10 even. It's not pointing at the 10. It's after the 11.10. So you just start at 10 and count up one spot, 11.11. 11. Let's do another one. Let's do a harder one right there. Okay. We know the hour. We've done that for years. 12. It's in the 12 o'clock range. And we know how to figure it out if it lands on one of these numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, but it's not there. We have to keep going, stop counting by fives. So that's where breaking that habit will probably work out well. If I look at this 8 in my head, I say 8 times 5 is 40. But watch what happens if I accidentally count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 8, or 12.50. Do you see how it's sometimes hard for certain kids to stop counting by fives and then switch over to counting by ones? 35, 40, then go 41, 42, 12.42. So in my head, I think it's way easier to say 12, and then this is almost on the 8, so that's 12.40. 8 times 5 is 40, 41, 42, and to keep counting. Kind of like this is a hundreds chart. And I am going, well, count by fives down there, 8 times 5, 40, 41, 42. And you're counting on like it's a hundreds chart. So now I want you to try some. 
All right, so I've taken most of the digital clock off so you can't see it. Now let's do some together before you have to do it yourself. What time is it? The hour is easy. It's after the seven, so it's seven something. Now we're gonna, instead of counting by fives, we're gonna look at this nine and say nine times five is 45. And then we keep counting, 46. So it moved up one spot, 746. All right, so let's spin it again and have you practice again with some help, and then it'll be your turn. So what time is it? First, the hour hand. It's in the nine. You could Sometimes it's really hard when it gets close to say, uh, because look, it's all the way to the end, and it's almost an o'clock again. So you might go, oh, 10. You really have to draw a pretty straight, straight, straight line to see, and also pay attention to the clues. It's not o'clock yet, so it's going to be something close to a 60, like 55, 56, 57, something like that. And when it gets really close, you have to realize it's not 10. It's actually in the 9 range over here. And then don't count by 5s necessarily, but go, hmm, 11 times 5, that's 55. And then come up here and go 56, 57, 58. So the time is 9.58. Let's do two more. All right. So it's in the beginning of the hour. It's not back over here where it was towards the end of the hour. It's the beginning of what hour? the 12 o'clock hour, so it's 12 something. Then we look down here and it what's, it passed 12, two times five, which is past 12, 10. So now we start by at 10 and count up 11, 12. It is 12, 12, okay? Do another one. Bam. Oh, I should make it a little harder, hold on. Last one, make it a doozy. There we go. What time is it? It is in what hour? The two o'clock hour. Good. What is the minute? What are the minutes? Look at here. Eight times five is 40. 41. 42. So it is two. 42. Now it's your turn. 